Hi friends, for this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use my camp presets for Lightroom. These were designed with uh, shooting outside in mind, so editing only images that are outdoors, although I have found they definitely do work inside too. Uh, I just favor them for outdoor images. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna load your presets, and if you don't know how to do that, you're gonna come over to your panel on the left hand side where it says presets and you're gonna click on the plus button here. Then you're gonna click import presets. And then once that opens up, you are going to navigate to where in your folder system you saved your presets. Go ahead and click on them and then click import. And I've already done that, so I'm just gonna hit cancel. Once you've imported them, they will show up on your preset panel here on the left. Now let me just kind of briefly walk you through how these presets work. You will see that the first set of presets all say adjustments, um, and that is just like little tweaks to your image. So let's say you played a preset and there's something you're not liking, you can kind of come hover over these and see if any of these will help your preset. Uh, the ones underneath that are going to be black and white. We've got camp, historic stone, and then we have our camp color presets. And then the very bottom, you'll see there are three sunbeam presets. We've got sunbeam left, overhead, and right side. The sunbeams I use for sun flare uh, and backlit images. So if you do decide to use these overlays, or overlays, sorry, these presets, make sure that they're believable. Make sure they're coming from the right side. Um, if you can look at this image and you can kind of tell there's sun coming from the right here, hitting the trees. So it would make sense to have a little bit of flare coming from up here. Um, but if I were to put a flare over on the left side here, that just doesn't make any sense. It's coming from the building. So make sure if you use these sunbeams, you put them in a believable spot. Otherwise, they obviously are just not going to look right. Um, Another thing with presets is I always say that these are starting points, you guys. It is very hard to develop a preset that's going to work for every single image. Your subjects are going to have different skin tones. It's going to be different times of day. You might shoot at different white balances, different Kelvin temperatures. Um, so it's really hard just to have a one click and it's done. Uh, so these are just starting points. I always like to point that out. Um, but there's usually not much work after you find the right preset you like. So for example, let me kind of go through these really quick so you can see the different ones. So here's black and white camp, historic, and stone. Then we have birch, bonfire, break the haze. Break the haze I love using on backlit images or anything with a little extra haze in it. We've got buffalo plaid, California girl, camp, camp film, camp vintage green, evergreen, fresh air, hike, and outdoorsy. Now, like I said, these definitely are going to need a little bit of tweaking. Um, so let me just kind of grab one. Let's see. What do I like on this one? I do like birch. So camp's one of my favorites. Um, clearly, she looks way too orangey here. So what I would want to do is I want to come over to my HSL panel, and I'm just going to grab my orange slider and just bring that down so it's a little bit more realistic. Um, she did have self-tanner on, so that definitely makes a difference whether your client... Uh, <laughs> as tanner or if they're pasty um, those oranges can get really intense with some of these presets so you'll just want to grab that and again that is on the right hand side here under hsl click on that and then you'll see hue saturation luminance and click on the saturation um but yeah let's let's do another image let's see what else should we play with let's go Here's one. I want to show you guys one with a sunbeam. So here you can see on the right side, that would make sense. Um, let me still do a different one. Maybe this. Yeah, I like this one. It's a little bit closer. So again, if we put it on the right side, it's believable. If we put it on the left side, this one's not too bad, but definitely want to use the right side. All right, let's go ahead and look at these presets again. We've got camp, historic, stone, Birch, that's pretty. Bonfire, break the haze. Buffalo plaid, California girl. Camp, camp film, camp vintage grain. Evergreen, fresh air. Hike, outdoorsy. I kind of liked birch on that one. That's really pretty. I love how the teal pops on her necklace. 
Let's do another one. So pretty. And you can see this image, obviously, I underexposed. So you're going to want to click on um, a preset. Like, let's say you like hike but it's still too dark. So you can either hover over your um, adjustment presets over here and see if that'll help anything. If not, we can just come on over here and bring up the exposure a bit until you figure out where you like it. And again, you can play with temperature. So if it wasn't shot at the right temperature, we can always play with that up here as well. And let's do another. So pretty. Let's go with that one. Love the tones. Birch is such a fun preset. I will say that these presets were designed um, on the warmer side. So definitely play with your temperature. Like here's evergreen. I might come in and bring this temperature down. And you can see the tones a little bit better. So it all just really depends on what white balance you shot in, um, what Kelvin temperature. So I always say just play with that temperature slider and then you'll find something you like, especially if they're all looking the same. Um, if you see a lot of warmth, go play with that temperature slider. Um, let's see, what else should we show you guys? This is a fun one. Let's play with this one. All right, there it is straight out of camera. Again, a little underexposed. I'm gonna bring it up some. Camp, historic, stone, birch. I mean, look at that. Look how much the sky comes back with birch. Love that preset. Bonfire, break the haze, buffalo plaid, California girl, camp, camp film, camp vintage grain, evergreen, fresh air, hike, outdoorsy. So much fun. Should we do one more? Let's see. This one, um, I believe we put Camp Vintage Gray on it to start. Let's see. Oh, I think it was Camp Film. And then I just brought up the exposure a bit. But again, let me just kind of roll over these so you can see. is really pretty on this one too so yeah just have fun with you guys with this you guys um i am notorious for not paying attention to my kelvin <laughs> my temperature when i'm shooting so that's always off um so that's usually the first thing i go to to kind of tweak and play with and see where i like it but when i designed these i did design them all with a um a good white balance. So enjoy these. Have a lot of fun. If you have any questions, let me know.